You must have heard the word akeldama whenever the word Judas Iscariot is mentioned. So what is the significance of a akeldama in the Bible? All right. Now we understand that akeldama also uh, known as akeldamak or uh, akeldama means a field of blood in Aramaic. Akeldama occurs only once in the New Testament in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 19 and is the name given to the place where Judas died. The Bible says in the book of Acts 1 verse 19 and it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem in so much as that field is called in their proper tongue Akeldama that is to say the field of blood. Matthew refers to this field in the, uh, in the Greek as the potter's field. According to Matthew uh, 27 verse 7, uh, which says, uh, And they took counsel and, and, brought, and they bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. All right? They bought the potter's field where they were to bury strangers. So now we understand that the priests... Uh, used the money that Judas threw in the temple before hanging himself to buy the potter's field as a burial place for foreigners. That is why it has been called the field of blood to this day. Matthew also connects what uh, occurred at, at uh, Akeldama with the prophecies from Jeremiah. Like we see the Bible saying in the, in the book of uh, Matthew 27 uh, from verse 9, it says that... Uh, then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value, and gave them for the potter's field as the Lord appointed me. You see? So now, <laughs> the priests basically just used the money Judas threw into the temple to buy that place called the potter's, uh, the potter's uh, 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 field, all right? This is just a fulfillment of that prophecy that I've just read to you. And uh, it uh, <clears throat> is a fulfillment of the prophecy, which is in Zechariah 11 verse 13, all right? The one that I read to you is fulfilling Zechariah 11 verse 13. Let me read to you. It says, And the Lord said unto me, Cast it unto the potter a goodly price, that I was a priest at, at, at of them. And I took the 30 pieces of silver and cast them to the potter in the house of the Lord. All right. So it is also explicitly connected to al Kadama through Zechariah. Uh, although Zechariah does not mention the Aramaic name. All right. And the Lord said to me, throw it to the potter. So he doesn't mention the name. So the handsome price at which they valued me. So I took the 30 pieces of silver and threw them to the potter at the house of the Lord. You see, they do, it doesn't really mention that it was buying, you know, it was paying for the betrayal of Jesus, but it does mention the story. And the tradition places uh, at Kedama, south of Jerusalem, in the junction of the valley of Hinnom and the Kidron Valley, and uh, the eastern part of the valley of Hinnom was made famous by Judas. It was made famous by Judas. In Matthew 27, uh, from verse 3 uh, all the way to verse 10, let me show you. The Bible actually accounts all this. It says, Then Judas, which had, be had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priest and the elders saying i have sinned in that i have betrayed the innocent blood and they said what is that to us see thou to that and he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself and the chief priest took the silver pieces and said it is not lawful for you to put them into the treasury because it is a price of blood and they took counsel and brought uh, and bought with them the potter's field to buy st uh, to bury strangers in. Wherefore that field was called the field of blood unto this day. Then, then what was fulfilled? 
then then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet saying and they took the 30 pieces of silver the price of him that was valued whom they of the children of Israel did value and they gave them for the potter's field as the Lord appointed me all right so Judas is making this uh, place this uh, eastern part of the valley of Hinnom is making it famous in the book of uh, Acts 1 verse 16 uh, to 19 let me read it for you so that you can also understand it says this is Peter speaking he says men and brethren this scripture must needs have been fulfilled which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas which was guide to them that took Jesus for he was numbered with us and had obtained part of this ministry now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity and failing and falling headlong he burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels gushed out and it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem in so much as that field is called in their proper tongue al kedama that is to say the field of blood you see so the hinnom valley is also known as the valley of jehenna in the old testament period it was where some of the ancient israelites passed children through the fire or basically sacrificed their children to the canaanite god called molech as the bible accounts in the, the book of second chronicles uh, chapter 28 verse 3 it says moreover he burnt incense in the valley of the son of hinnom and burnt his children in the fire after the abomination of the heathen whom the lord had cast out before the children of israel and also verse uh, chapter 33 verse 6 it says and he caused his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of hinnom also he observed times and used enchantments and used witchcraft and dealt with the familiar spirit and with wizards. He wrought much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. All right. So we are seeing all this. Basically, uh, this was happened uh, in a place called Jehina. All right. Jehina. And uh, Jeremiah also, uh, chapter 7, verse 31, it also speaks about slightly about the same okay it says and they have built the high places of topet which is in the valley of the son of hinnom you see the word again mentioned to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire which i commanded them not neither came it into my heart and finally let me also show you um mm, also uh jeremiah chapter 19 from verse uh, 2 we can read to 6 it says and go forth unto the valley of the son of Hinnom which is by the entry of the east gate and proclaim there the words that I shall tell thee and say hear the word of the Lord O kings of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem thus says the Lord of hosts the God of Israel behold I will bring evil upon this place the which whosoever heareth his ears shall tingle because they have forsaken me and have strangled this place and have burned incense into it and to other God and uh, whom neither they or their fathers have known nor the kings of Judah and have filled this place with blood of innocence they have built also the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings with unto Baal, which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came it into my mind. Therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, that this place shall no more be called Topet, nor the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter. All right. Now, have you seen the point here? Have you seen exactly what is being spoken about here? So now, looking at this, we get to understand that uh, the valley was used for incinerating the corpses of criminals. Okay? Incinerating the corpses of criminals and unclean animals to burn garbage from the city. Due to these practices and the vivid imagery of the place evoked, Jesus used the word Jehina as a symbolic description of a hell 
in the book of Matthew 10:28 it says and fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both the soul and the body in hell all right in hell or also in Gehenna all right and also the book of Mark chapter 47 uh, to 48 it says and if thine eye offend thee pluck it out it is better for thee to enter the kingdom of god with one eye than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire where their worm dies not and their fire is not quenched so today's tombs and a large ruin that was once a charnel house can be found at al kedama and the soil in the area contains a type of clay suitable for pottery which is another reason it is designated as the potter's field and in the book of acts chapter 1 verse 19 where we have read about the the field of alkadema we see that field specifically was bought with judas's 30 pieces of silver and this verse says that everyone in jerusalem called that field in their language alkadema that is field of blood and alt at alkadema what Jesus stated about Judas became a reality he said in the book of Matthew chapter 26 verse 24 the son of man will go just as it is written about him but woe unto that man who betrays the son of man it would be better for him if he had not been born that man is Judas That's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. Hope you did learn something. And remember you can always download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite our podcast and subscribe to our channel so that you can always be notified whenever we post a new Bible study lesson. And if you like to get saved or you need a step-by-step Bible verses on the order of salvation so that you can well preach to your friends or family. Uh Or maybe you just feel led to support our ministry or buy some cool Christian merchandise. Kindly visit our website kithmoki.com for more details and breakdown. Otherwise, I hope to see you soon in the next one.